What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to another reaction. So, Elden Ring, a game that interested me because apparently George R. R. Martin, the mind behind Game of Thrones, apparently was supposed to be helping on the game. I don't know if that's still the case, but that was kind of what got me you know, into the, the curiosity of the game. And if I remember right, of course it is a Souls-type game, if I remember right. I mean, how many of those do we have? But they put out some gameplay of it. And I'm actually curious as to how it plays. You know, I don't know if I would play it on the channel, but, you know, it's something to look at, something to react to, something to see how it's going, and maybe I might play it in my spare time. Or I may play it on the channel. Who knows if I actually, you know, get the commitment to do it. But we're going to see how it plays regardless. So, you know, I would, it's not a song, but hey, get your, you know, headphones, you know, chill out. It's like midnight. <laughs> so, you know, cuddle up with your dog or your cat and uh, let's see how this plays, shall we? Peggy 16. Right. Hello everyone, this footage is from a thank PC you for taking the time to join us today. And is not representative In this video, of the game's final we'll show quality. some footage of our from new software, action RPG, the, the Elden Souls Ring. People, so this is we exactly hope it helps like to convey Souls. a little of this title's mood and gameplay. Okay. Wow. Elden Ring is set here, in the lands between. The lands between. Kanda is this giving is me some of Ghost of Tsushima vibes. Acting as a place of rest for the player. Okay. Like the fireplace. Occasionally, Grace will manifest rays of guiding light. What? What? Of course, we're free to choose whether to follow this guidance. We have we'll mounts in, in this? Different direction. What? That's new. That is very new. What is that? Yggdrasil? The world tree? <laughs> wow. Oh, shit. Yep, just like a Souls game. Drop a boss on you out of nowhere. Oh, there has to be mounted combat, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Obviously, ranged options and magic are the go-to for on horseback. Definitely the go-to on horseback. Nice. Oh, wow. Wow. I saw a little bit of that Bloodborne in there. Well, Hello. I mean, it's the same fucking thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Help me. I'm stuck. Hello? Please, anyone? Uh. Oh, huh? I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander. Oh, that's also that thing talking. Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, <laughs> can you help me out of this? Talk about being in quite a pickle. Put those doubts to rest. I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Oh my god. <laughs> Batter up. Oh, he's got such little legs. Wow. How did you even land in there? And why couldn't you use your arms to pull yourself out since well they're longer played, than the rest son. of your body? Well played. Oh, that mighty wallop of yours almost spelled the end of me. Uh, but you was trained though, right? <laughs> that is beautiful. It's so much lighter. 
than Dark Souls and uh, Bloodborne. It's it's brighter. Like it has more life to it. And we the map have a map! useful when exploring the world and is populated by acquiring map That fragments. has never existed! From software, what are you doing to literally flip the script on everything you've made? We can use markers to customize the map, to such be as a setting thing reminders for the location of crafting materials what or dangerous enemies. What happened? Man, ever Beacons since can also be placed Dark Souls 1, there's never been a map. There's never been a pause menu Beacons or placed anything. On the map appear in the world. Okay, dual wielder. Okay, I see you. Oh, we can jump too? Oh, we can Spirit jump, jump. Spirit springs can be used while on horseback to launch high into the air. This allows for stress-free traversal of areas with a great deal of verticality. Okay. That's convenient. He says horse and that thing has bull wings or bull horns. Bull wings? What? <laughs> okay. And we just have wildlife everywhere? This is like Dark Souls, you know, with life to it. Those straight up looked like bald eagles. Okay. You can scope out the area. That dude right there has like a canine with him. Okay. The carriage over there is carrying treasure. An opportunity too good to pass up. Oh yeah, you gotta go get that. Take we'll the path of least some item crafting using materials found in the world. Item crafting? Whoa! Whoa! So Dark Souls has literally become a straight up RPG. We have stealth now? What? Bruh. Bruh, that is crazy. And that sword is massive. Jesus, I like that. Yuck. Woo. There it is. Enemy stance can be broken with heavy strikes, such as when attacking from above. Ooh. Ooh. That was slick. A variety slick. of unique attacks can also be interchanged between weapons. I like that. Oh, hell. What? Yo, that was the cleanest shit I have ever seen. Bro, I might have to pick this up. I'm not going to lie. In more perilous situations, we can summon spirits to assist us in battle. What? Spirits vary greatly in type, so we look forward to players experimenting and finding their personal favorites. What? Bro. That is wild. That is so wild. Online multiplayer can also be enjoyed with players from other worlds. Right. From cooperative to PvP and invasions. Okay. We have jumping. That is also something different. You can still emote and everything. No fall damage, I take it. Spear and a staff? That's an interesting combo. You just gonna leave them souls on that body right there? <laughs> I know this is a playtest. I'm just joking. Oh my god. Deadly creatures stalk this forest. Oh so my. We'll use stealth to avoid oh detection. my god. The fact that you can go stealth in this game. And it doesn't even look like the armor is even impeding on the stealth. Like, he's wearing plate gear. I mean, he's not wearing, like, plate, uh, boots. But that has to play a factor. The armor that you have has to play a factor in your ability to stealth. We've come across a boss Whoa! in this area. We'll take it on with the help of our co-op partner. Yo, is that the Skull Knight from Berserk? Is it? 
it sure as hell looks like it. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Uh, oh, that is dope. That is such a dope spell. Jesus Christ. Uh, excuse you? <laughs> what is happening? Yo, <laughs> you already know. What? We can emit a whole beam now? That is crazy. Go ahead, show me there's no fall damage. Okay, uh-huh. Wild. Wild. Holy shit. I was not expecting this. I was literally wondering how it would differ from the Soul series. There's more to it. There's so much more you can do. Wow. Catacombs, caves, mines, and other dungeons can be found while out exploring the world. Oh yeah. And I bet you can find some good shit in these places. These dungeons each hold their own secrets, from hidden treasures to fierce bosses. Oh my god. <laughs> Were those cat claws? Okay. I am digging that cloak or that cape. Can a brother get that cape though? Ooh, what is in there? Oh, the chest still looks the same. You gotta watch out, uh, gotta watch out for the mimics. The chest still look the same. So it's, I think if the one is facing towards you, it's a mimic and away from you is an actual chest. Oh goodness. Is that she who will watch over us? Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Melina. Hello there. Let me gaze upon your eyes. Okay. Oh, you have I one eye. I offer you an accord. I like that tattoo, though. That's a pretty dope tattoo. We've reached Stormvale Castle, a large-scale dungeon which connects seamlessly with the surrounding Limgrave region. Whoa! That castle is huge! Like, compare that to Lothric Castle. I wonder which one is bigger. Come over here, would you? Oh, are you for one of... Uh... I thought you were like... You, you're, you're tarnished, aren't you? Tarnished? I would advise against taking the main gate into the castle. Really? It's tightly guarded by hardened old hands. Okay. T -t Try the opening right here. The guards don't know about it. You'll breach the castle undetected. But what would be the point? There has, like, I mean, you could Fair get enough. some extra souls. You don't have to trust me. Yeah, that's well, also another thing. If you must go through the gates, I'll signal them to open. But of course, I'd advise against it. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't know what path to take. Because that was, a uh, that was a little strange. Yeah, because why would you tell me, hey, don't go here, they're heavily guarded, when you're the one that can tell them to open the gate? Oh! I'm sure if you had, like, a really good shield, you could probably push past risky. that. 
so we'll try entering through a back way. Okay, so there's risk and reward. Oh. Oh, come the fuck on, man. That's just wrong. Ooh, that was clean. That's just wrong. Oh, they can use abilities against you. Okay, that's something to take into consideration. Wow. We just gonna walk past these these long Extra neck. Extra care should be taken when moving through dungeons, as visibility and terrain differ from when in the open. Right. We hope players enjoy getting a feel for the different types of areas Gosh, and coming up with suitable man. strategies Holy for each. Holy! Yo, he oh he he actually lived through it. I was like, yo, Merc, just like that. What the fuck is that? Man, this is so crazy. Being around from software, you never really appreciate how good all this extra shit is until they actually bring it to you. And it's so pretty. This definitely has to be bigger than Lothric Castle. Dungeons are complex and multi-layered, meaning they can be tackled from a number of routes. You just gotta look for them. Oh, snap. Who is that, Vivi? All grown up? Ah, nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. Roger. The sorcerer, as... Uh, or Roger. One of the two. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. But enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? Exploring. This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They tarnished hunters? For grafting. Not exactly a place I'd stroll into without a purpose in mind. Is he human? Like, was he 100% human? Oh, hell no! <laughs> Oh, hell no! Nah. We had a big old freaking armored random enemy and one of the eagles from the Lord of the Rings just ready to tag team you. Wow. And they had such good synchronization too. One attack, the other attack, the other attack. That was slick. In this next boss fight, we challenge one of the demigods, ruler of Stormvale, Godric the Golden. Godric Gryffindor? Godric Gryffindor? Is that who that was? Is that who you're taking on? Also, demigods? Um. Mighty dragon. We've never had Mighty any indication of gods heir. in Dark Souls, as in far as I know. Strength, O oh kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. One, two, three. He's got six fingers. Well, six fingers. Plain as a lord. Whoa, I command thee. Whoa. <laughs> Wow! Why do you even need that many arms? So that was like a dark? Did you put dark on there? Oh, was that like a little recovery? That's either dark or bleeding. Oh! So he can like be on some capoeira shit. Damn! What kind of spirits are in this damn game? Like, they're just... Oh. That kind of looked like the Onion Knight from Dark Souls 3, didn't it? Freaking wild, dude. He's got a dragon head. For an arm. For a pair of arms. 
and one of like the allies or whatever did that shit earlier. Yo, this is sick. was kind of fire and i'm not talking about that dragon that was amazing that is a convincing trailer that really is like i said if anything i might get this game just to play in my free time what little bit i have but I mean, I could live stream it too, but I gotta eventually get on Persona 5. Wow. I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay like I did because I liked that. I enjoyed that. Wow. But if you did, why not leave the video a like? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not consider subscribing? Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of this mayhem. Until next time, I appreciate all of you for watching. Like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.